Welcome to Jacobs Medical Center at UC San Diego Health. I'm Elisa Garay, Surgical and Support Services Manager for Women and Infants. I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of our labor, delivery, and postpartum units. We hope to provide you a view of what to expect when you deliver your baby with us. We know you have many options as to where to have your baby and we're glad you chose UC San Diego Health. Prior to arriving to the hospital, we ask that you call our nurse triage line. As you see on the screen, there's a phone number for our midwife patients and a different phone number for our OB patients. Call if you think you're in labor, your water has broken, or have concerns or questions. A nurse is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to provide guidance. Calling ahead will allow UC San Diego Health staff to be ready for you upon your arrival. After calling, and if you're directed to come into the hospital, you have few options to either drop off or park when you arrive at Jacobs Medical Center. Between the hours of 6 a.m. and 7 p.m., patients can be dropped off at either the main or west entrance to the hospital. After hour, patients can be dropped off at the emergency department entrance. Parking at any hospital entrance is not authorized and can lead your vehicle to being towed. We encourage valet parking located at our drop-off points. It is convenient and inexpensive. Self-parking is available in parking structures or lots pay at our pay stations using cash or credit card. You do not need to display your ticket on your dashboard. You can also pay via Park Mobile app with your smart device. Your parking ticket allows you in and out privileges for 24 hours. Just park in any visitor spot when you return. With a disabled placard, parking is free in any patient or visitor spot. Checking in. After parking, you will need to make your way to the Jacobs Medical Center elevators located on the first floor just past the west entrance. Maternity patients need to take the elevator up to the ninth floor where our labor and delivery units are located. When you arrive on the ninth floor, a team member will check you in and notify the nursing staff that you have arrived. One of our nurses will escort you back to a triage room to begin your assessment. Triage. All triage rooms are private with dedicated bathrooms. Here, you and your baby will be monitored to see where you are in the labor process. One of our providers will determine if it is time for you to be admitted to labor and delivery or your birth center room. If it is not quite time, we will provide you further guidance. If it is time to be admitted, you will be transferred to either your birth center room or your labor and delivery room. Before you take a look at those rooms, I want to share with you some special features of delivering your baby at Jacobs Medical Center. All our rooms feature free Wi-Fi and large screen TVs. We also have iPads at each bed where you can control the lights and temperature settings of your room or page your nurse. All of our rooms have convenient pull-down couch that your guests may use for their overnight stay. All our rooms have stunning views and plenty of natural light. We also provide various birth equipment such as birthing balls, peanut balls, birthing stools, and birthing bars. Please request any of these from your nurse upon admission. We use the latest medical evidence to help you have the best birth possible. These are some of our standard procedures we practice. Please note that any of these procedures may not take place if a medical emergency were to occur. Delayed cord clamping, baby to chest immediately after birth, rooming in, baby will stay with you for the entire stay. All newborn screenings and checks will be done at the bedside. We do not bathe the baby during their stay. For safety, you and your baby will receive matching ID bands and your baby will get special alarm band that they will use for the entirety of their stay. We have lactation consultants here seven days a week to help you get breastfeeding off to a great start. All of our nurses have special training in breastfeeding as well. Doulas. UC San Diego Health is also home to a unique program where patients can request a volunteer doula free of charge to provide you and your family comfort and care during their labor and delivery. All you have to do is ask for a doula when you are admitted from triage. Your UC San Diego Health doula will stay with you until your baby is born and can even go with you into the operating room if a cesarean section birth is needed. While a doula is not guaranteed, they are available day and night and requests for doulas can usually be accommodated. If you have hired a private doula, she is also welcome. Please note that at times our doula services may be limited or we may not be able to allow doulas into our facility for the health of our patients and staff. We recommend that you discuss doula services with your provider prior to your delivery. Birth Center. Welcome to our birth center. 
Our birth center is located on the same floor as our labor and delivery rooms, allowing for a low intervention delivery with the peace of mind of knowing that if other measures are needed, they are a room away. If you deliver in the birth center, you will be cared for by one of our midwives. You will also labor, deliver, and have your postpartum care all in the same room. The room features a queen-size bed that may be shared with your support person. Also a large bathtub that can be used for labor and relaxation during your stay. We do not practice water birth at Jacobs Medical Center. There is no continuous fetal monitoring, which means your baby will be monitored with the same handheld Doppler as you have in your prenatal visits. Also, you will not get an IV lock automatically in the birth center. For pain relief, we offer nitrous oxide and IV pain medications, but epidurals are not administered in the birth center. If you decide you want an epidural or if your labor requires additional monitoring, we can quickly transfer you to a labor and delivery room and your midwife will stay with you for the continuation of your care. To deliver in the birth center, you must be getting your prenatal care with a certified midwife at UC San Diego Health. Midwives handle prenatal, delivery, and postpartum care for patients with healthy, low-risk pregnancies. You must transfer your care to a midwife no later than 34 weeks. Now let's go look at our labor and delivery rooms. Both obstetrician patients and midwife patients deliver in these comfortable and ample rooms. All rooms are private with a private bathroom and shower. Our anesthesiologists are here 24-7 if an epidural is part of your birth plan. However, if you want to labor unmedicated, we will encourage and support you no matter where you deliver. In your labor and delivery room, your contractions and your baby's heartbeat will be monitored. We have wireless monitors so you can walk around or even get into the shower while being monitored. If you need a C-section, we have state-of-the-art dedicated surgical rooms here on the ninth floor. Most of the time, your support person will be able to come into the operating room with you. We have a clear drape during delivery so you can watch your baby being born. After you have your baby, you will recover about two hours and then you and your baby will move to your postpartum room on the 10th floor for the rest of your stay. All postpartum rooms are private and include a private shower and a couch that pulls out into a bed for your support person. For vaginal birth, you will stay in the postpartum room for 24 to 48 hours after delivery. If you have a cesarean, you will stay with us for two to four days on average. During your stay, all patient meals will be provided from a seasonal cooked from scratch menu made to order in our kitchens. We also offer a celebratory meal so you can enjoy a special brunch or dinner in honor of your new baby. Family members can purchase food from our cafe located on the first floor or bring their own food from home. We also have vending machines in our cafes available 24-7 with a large variety of food options. At the gift shop on the first floor, you can find flowers, cards, and gifts. You can also purchase breastfeeding supplies and rent a hospital-grade breast pump to take home after your stay. NICU. If the unexpected happens, you are in the best possible hands at Jacobs Medical Center. We have a level three NICU on the eighth floor with 52 private rooms to encourage bonding between you and your baby. We have renowned neonatologists, respiratory therapists, and every type of specialized care your baby will need while in the NICU. Once it's safe, you and your support person can visit your baby in the NICU at any time. Your friends and family can also see your baby via a private live stream camera above your baby's bed. We hope this virtual tour has given you the information you needed as you prepare for your new arrival. Please don't hesitate to ask us anything at your next prenatal care visit that we didn't cover in this video. We know you have many options as to where to have your baby, and we're glad you chose UC San Diego Health. On behalf of everyone at UC San Diego Health, I want to congratulate you on your pregnancy, and we look forward to seeing you soon.